Hi, first grade. This video right here is a demonstration of how to make the rain stick. You are going to need a lot of materials for this video right here to complete it. The first thing you are going to need is the a Wampanoag Child's Day Packet. We will read a page in there about rain sticks and I'll show you what page that is in just a moment. You will also need some items out of that Thanksgiving projects bag. So that bag looks like this, although stuffed with more items because I've taken the items out of it already. And you will need this right here that looks like the paper towel holder, which I know some of you were asking me about. You will need this smaller piece of brown paper. You will need the baggie of rice. You will need a spoon. It does not have to be a plastic spoon. I'm just using a plastic spoon because that's what I have here at school. You will need this picture dictionary sheet, crayons or markers, and a glue stick and some tape. So on the parts that you tape, that would be maybe when you could do it if you're able to at home or you may want to have someone help you with it, okay? All right, what we are going to start with is we are going to read a little bit about what rain sticks are, and then we will make our rain stick. So let me just organize all my materials over here. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this page right here. So you are going to find the page that says station four. Okay, there are no page numbers on it, but if you wanted to count, it's the, fifth page in this packet. So if that helps you out, fifth page in the packet says station four at the top and then rain sticks. Okay, let's go ahead and read what it says. Rain sticks are ceremonial music instruments used to invoke the rain spirits. In Chile, rain sticks are traditionally made by people who live in the deserts. Rain sticks can be made from dead cactus tubes with hundreds of cactus spikes hammered into the tube. Tiny pebbles gently move through the tube, sounding like rain. So before we go ahead and make our rain stick, I want to show you how cool this is right here. And let me stop sharing so I could show you a little bit better here. This is actually a real rain stick made out of cactus. And Miss Lid was so kind to lend this to me for me to show you guys and use. And I want you to listen for a second. And you can even close your eyes and just listen to the sound it's going to make when I move it. All right, go ahead and open your eyes. So it makes a really, really awesome sound, nice and relaxing. And you'll see too, it talked about on that page, some of those little nails that are hammered in. You can see some of them are sticking out of the cactus right here. And they have to hammer those nails in to prevent all of the tiny pebbles in here from falling out. So it's kind of cool that you could see one sticking out right there right now. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and make our own rain stick. Okay, so first thing you are going to need, and I will share my screen in just a moment. You are going to need your picture dictionary page and this brown piece of paper and your crayons, okay? And what we are going to do is start by filling up just one side of this paper with a ton of symbols, okay? So looking at your picture dictionary page, Filling it up with tons and tons of symbols. So maybe, you know, I'm just going to use some different colors. Draw them all over this page. And if you need to pause, like you want to pause and do this part and really get it decorated before we move on, totally fine. I'm going to do maybe just two more symbols. And then I will move on to our next part. All right. Okay. The next part that we are going to do 
is going to have to do with our rain stick over there. So you can go ahead and take this once you're done, stick it off to the side. You can put your crayons or markers away and you are going to grab your rain stick or I guess it's like your little paper towel holder, your spoon and your rice bag. And what you are going to do, and you may want to put something down on your table just in case it gets a little messy. What you are going to do is you are going to take, and you could do this nice and slow, take your rice right here and just stick it into this hole. And you'll see that I already spilled just a teeny, teeny bit, so it's okay. You may end up spilling a little bit, but you could always go back to it and clean it up in a few minutes. All right, so again, taking that rice and sticking it into the hole. Good. And you will continue doing this until all of the rice is out of the bag and into the rainmaker. Okay? All right. I'm going to stop right here so I can show you the next part. But you guys want to make sure you fill up your rainmaker with all of the rice that's in your bag. Okay? All right. Next part. This is where you're going to want to have tape. You are going to have Take tape and tape this closed. So I'm going to tape it closed. I'll probably tape it that way, tape it this way, and I'll probably even put one more layer of tape just because I like to use lots of tape to make sure that it doesn't open up so the rice does not fall out. Okay? All right. Awesome, awesome. Now, you are going to want to grab this paper right here, and we are actually going to roll it onto our rainmaker. So, on the side that has no symbols, you're going to go to one of the edges, and you're going to put lots of glue on there. So just like a little bit, like up to here, you can even put your finger here to help you with how thick you want it to be. Okay, put lots and lots of glue on there. Then you're going to take it, and attach it onto your rainmaker. Okay, smooth and press down and try and hold that maybe for like five seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five, okay? Really smooth it. And then in between right now, you can go ahead and cap your glue just so that it does not dry out. And what we are going to do now is go ahead and flip it so it looks like this and roll. You're just going to roll so that your paper is covering up here. Now, when you get to this part, you have two options. You can either glue it or you can tape it. If you are going to glue it, you wanna make sure that you hold this kind of steady about here and you need to go to this edge here and layer the glue. Uh-oh, I'm losing my glue stick here. Layer the glue on it and then you'd end up closing it and sticking it and rubbing it like we just did, okay? And then just holding it, again, holding it again for maybe like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. You could also just put tape. And if you are putting tape, what you would do is just come over to the side and put a little bit of tape right here across it just to secure it. And maybe you put one piece on the edge, one piece in the middle, and one piece on the other edge. Okay, and then you are done and you have a rainmaker. And now you can sit and you can do like I was doing with the other one. Just move it side to side. Listen to how relaxing that is. Awesome. All right, first grade, great job making your rainmakers. I am going to ask you to post a picture on portfolio of you smiling with your rainmaker so I can see the awesome work that you did. All right, first grade, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.